do if you want to send me a text, alancoxshow.com. Uh, if you want to watch the show, thank you again to Huncho Baduncho, who is responsible for the goings on back there today <laughs> in the uh, video department. <laughs> Uh, I like I like Huncho Baduncho. Huncho Baduncho. That's B apostrophe mm-hmm. Duncho. As in Duncho, forget about me. The classic song from uh, the band Simple Minds. Mm-hmm. From the film, what the Breakfast Club? Breakfast what was Club, that in? Breakfast yeah. Club. Never seen that movie. I should go back and watch. That's that. crazy. You've never seen that movie. Well, really when it was good. out, I was like, I don't really. I identify with any of these characters i guess i would have been closest to the anthony michael hall character but even that he was so like mousy i'm like i don't you know i don't know yes. i feel like it's a movie you have to see in junior high that's what i'm saying a yeah. lot of those movies you cannot go back the comedies you can i can watch weird science to this day and how like the angsty teen movies yeah they're kind of tough if you're like older than because you're like, come on, get these. Is I didn't it, have time for angst. Yeah, yeah. Didn't have time for angst. And it's not even like real angst; it's romanticized angst mm-hmm. in those movies. Yeah, but I like that movie. I, I also haven't seen it in decades, but well, I listen, loved it when I was a kid. But it's got a good message, right? Yeah. Hey, all these kids of different backgrounds can come together when they get in trouble. Were they all in trouble for the same thing, or did different infractions bring them together? They all had different infractions. And And I assume from the name of the movie they were there in the morning? Yeah, it was a a Saturday detention. Okay. So they had to be there all Saturday. All One Saturday or multiple Saturdays? Just one Saturday Okay. for, I think, basically what the length of a school day would be. Mm. What I like back in the 80s was movie posters would have like a paragraph on the poster, a little synopsis of the story, you know. They barely knew each other, but they came together one by one. Like that was all on the poster. Right. Well, because you couldn't get it anywhere else. You weren't getting it from, like you couldn't go on YouTube and get a synopsis. Right. You couldn't get it on Twitter. You had to. They had to tell you what it was about. They had to tell you about it. That's why trailers were so different back then too, because they- Really had to sell you on, and that's why it was like in a da- time. Yeah, like it was like a ten those. minute trailer mm-hmm. of everything that was in it. Because you were only going to see the trailer once, so it didn't matter if there were revealing that much in the trailer because you weren't you didn't have the opportunity to go through it again and again, the way that you can now. Mm-hmm. Let me find the Breakfast Club trailer, nineteen eighty five. The late Paul Gleason was the principal. Oh, seven oh six. You have exactly eight hours and fifty-four minutes to ponder the error of your ways. Any questions? Yeah. Does Barry Manilow know that you raid his wardrobe? Ha! Br- ah, he's the bad boy, right? Yeah. Judd Nelson with that giant beak. Mm-hmm. Fame, a beauty, a jock, a rebel, and a recluse. I can't believe this is really happening to me. Before this day is over. They'll break the rules. <coughs> Chicks cannot hold a smoke. That's what it is. Barely. <laughs> they- Anthony Michael Hall basically did that character in every movie. Did it in Weird Science. Yeah. Did it in that, clearly. And I think he did it in uh, 16 Candles, too. Yes, I probably. He, yeah. Any John Hughes movie, they're like, can you do your... Uh, She's into Malacca's, yeah. Dino. Yeah. Yeah. Bitch, need your nuts? <laughs> she need my, my nuts. nuts. <laughs> oh, so good. Yeah, so I don't know. Well, I keep going. I'm I'm having fun watching this trailer. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, let me bring it back to you then. Yeah. Huh? And touch each other in a way they never dreamed possible. Wait, what? They can touch each other. Yeah. Oh boy. Why'd you do that? Because I knew you wouldn't. The Breakfast Club. They're sliding down the hall, coming around yes, the corner. Yes, because they're because they were do in a different part of the school they weren't supposed to be in, and they had to beat the principal back to the library. I see. Mm-hmm. So, okay. and so let me guess. At some point, each one of them goes, "I'm not who everybody thinks I am." Kind of, yeah. yeah. Everybody well, thinks they, I'm they all a- talk about what they did to get in there, and they yeah they have a bunch of uh, moments like that as they get to know each other now. I think I'm gonna watch that again. I don't want to be. I don't want to be that guy. 
But but here you are for somebody who never had Saturday detention. Were you given work to do, or were you just the punishment was to sit there knowing Sometimes. everybody else was having fun and you were in there on a Saturday? Yeah. So whenever yeah. I had a Saturday detention, it was you were you were allowed to do schoolwork, uh, and but you weren't allowed to sleep. You weren't allowed to put your head down. And in this, show, was it a day long detention? I I think it was like a four hour detention for okay. me, because. I went to two different high schools. I went to Highland High School for one year and then Medina High School. For Did you get three so many years. detentions at the first that they kicked you out and put you at the other one? Well, kind of. Were you so detentioned I was, out? I, well, I was I was on open enrollment in to go to Highland because I was like right on the border. So we were able to kind of choose which school I went to, but then Highland started getting so overcrowded that I couldn't go back. Plus, I had really bad grades. Plus, I was getting in trouble a lot. So they're like, "Yeah, we're not going to have him back if we oh, don't really? have to." So they sent me back to Medina. Okay. So it was uh my high school years were tumultuous. Did you go into the new high school as a rebel, as the dude who was so bad they didn't want him at the old school? No, I just you went get in any as, like, kind of regular, cred from that. I just went in just as a regular kid, but I just wasn't like I just. Say, same thing. Like, I, I make people laugh in class. I wouldn't do my homework and just didn't want to be there. So, see, the trick was making people laugh in class, but doing your homework. That's oh. how you got the latitude. That's what worked for me. Must have been nice. Class clown, okay. but it was because all my work was done. Mm. I wasn't going to, I wasn't going to give in. <laughs> <laughs> you can't make me do my homework. You're not going to get me uh, sucking up to your paperwork industrial complex, yes. lady. So the Saturday detentions were 8 to noon, 8 a.m. to noon on Saturdays. And then what I would, like, once I found out what happens if I didn't do those, I, you just get in-school suspension during the week. I'm like, oh, I'd rather do that. I see. I'd rather, so I'll just not go to my Saturday detention and, and get suspended and just have to be at school but not have to go to classes that's fine by me so your parents must have been pissed knowing what i do about them and probably wanting you to be a good student they're probably mad when you had saturday detention yeah i mean they they didn't love it <laughs> they, they weren't they're fans. like billy why can't you get it together they didn't know what to do with me because also the, you know i was one of five kids so they had all these other kids to worry about too so i was right. just a, a fly in the ointment and mostly you, you were they were just up like, their saturday yeah the well Usually they just make my brother drive me, right. so it wasn't even like a big deal because I was a freshman and he had his driver's license. So I would be like, "Hey, take your brother to detention and pick him up at noon," or I'd find a route ride with another kid that I knew that was having Saturday detentions. But uh, yeah, it, it, it was annoying. But I think I think I only served one because when I got it, other ones, I just wouldn't serve them and then get in school suspension. Did you get detentions, Pound Cake? Uh, I would get. Like us, it wasn't a detention. It was a Saturday school, and then um, I would get a detention. Well, like a Saturday school is a Saturday what the hell detention. was Saturday school? Saturday school is a Saturday detention. It's, yeah. it's just another word for it. Oh, um, and then our detentions that I would get, I would only get them because I was tardy, not because I would misbehave or something like that. Um, I would get our detentions, but they're served like twenty minutes in the office before class. So it really was. It, I didn't have to stay after school. Oh, they had those. Like, you could you could do before school uh, detentions and after school detentions, well, there, and you can serve them whatever works best best with your schedule. Yeah, so I would I would get there I'd get to school early anyway because I had to go to uh, church before I went to high school. So I would just do my detentions in the morning because I was there anyway. So I'm like, oh, I'll just knock these out. If I can, yeah, no, I wouldn't get to school early to serve a detention. There was like, oh, I would. There would be a period when like the bus would drop drop people off, and they would wait. Everyone would would late. Sorry, everyone would wait in the lunch room, or like people who drive, they would sit in their car until the bell rang, and then it was time to go to class. I would take that time and go serve my stupid twenty mi- twenty minutes is not a detention. I'm not going to learn my lesson for twenty minutes. Um, so None I'm, of the things were deterrents to me. Like nothing. There was no punishment in high school. That made me want to get it together. Because it school, all just meant less school. There was a dude that just straight up <laughs> told 
there was a dude that just straight up told the vice principal. Uh, he, the vice principal was like punishing him for something. He was like, you know what? That's gonna be a Saturday school. He said, nope, that's a suspension because I'm not gonna serve the Saturday <laughs> school. Because if you didn't serve exactly, your, if you didn't serve your Saturday school, it was automatic three day suspension. He's like, oh, he jumped right to the suspension. Yeah, he's, that's, like, he's like, no, you're gonna you're me. gonna suspend me because you're not. I'm not coming in on a Saturday. I, I don't even come to class as it is. <laughs> he was right. like, you're gonna get me to come in on a Saturday. Yeah, you're kind of if you're an administrator, you're kind of between a rock and a hard place with kids that aren't into it because like. You're not punishing them by suspending them. They're gonna drop out anyway, or some point. They're like, trying to. "Cool, I, I didn't want to. <laughs> I didn't want to be here anyway, and now you're gonna make it official. Awesome, thank you so much." And I had, I did have to do summer school one year, and I was actually fine with that because that meant that instead of going to work for my dad, doing hard labor in the summer sun, I got to just be in an air conditioned room. So I was like, yeah, summer school's fine by me. I don't want to go do manual labor in the sun. That's that's not fun. Manual labor in the summer sun. Look at yeah. you. Ugh, it was the wow. worst. All right. And, uh, I'm not going to be out there breaking rocks, Dad. I don't care what you want me to do. Yeah. I ain't doing it. Hmm. Well, all right. Again, I never had detention, so I don't know what... Um, Ever. That's crazy. No, ever. I didn't. We got so many. Listen, I was terrified of my parents, and I went to Catholic school, K through 12. So I was terrified of, of the nuns, and I was terrified of getting in trouble because I knew it was going to happen when I get home. See, but what happens so once I'm you like, get in trouble so many times, they <laughs> they lose faith in you, and they just don't really know how to deal with you. So there's no, I didn't want that. Yeah, well, I was trying to, for I me. was trying to make everybody happy. I, I, I was doing that, too, but, like, that was the thing. The reason I could get away with so much at school is because I'd still go to church and do that stuff. So my parents were like, well, he's doing that stuff. So oh, yeah. Fine. Church did not hold. I it, mean, we it, were Catholic, it, but church would not have outweighed all that other stuff. Oh, it did for us. No. As long as I was up on Sunday morning going to church, they're like, whatever. Well, we went to church every day. Well, we did too. So, I mean, I yeah. went to church six days a week. Yeah. Uh, Alan Cox Show After Hours Some, line Sundays is twice. Uh, <laughs> back up and running. Wednesdays were brutal. Two one six nine eight six eighty nine zero three. Hey Alan, this is Mike from nowhere. Uh, <laughs> ever since you brought up Kid Charlemagne and Steely Dan, I listened to the lyrics and pulled up what's going on behind the song. Great song. Good night. Bye. Mm, ever since I'll tell you what you want to talk about an enigma. Everybody knows I'm a huge Steely Dan fan, and I'm still the guy hosting the metal show here on MMS because I love metal and Steely Dan. How do you like that? Now am I going to cross the streams? No. Do you want to talk about a great drug song? Kid Charlemagne, Steely Dan. About the rise and fall of a LSD dealer in the uh, out there in the valley. Mike sounded like he was on something. He was hammered or... Checking in with just random thoughts. And I like, what I like is how these little things will work into people's messages where no matter how out of it they are, they'll always go, okay, bye, or whatever. <laughs> They're just slurring all over the place. Thank you, Mike. Is that who he said? Mike? Yeah, I think so. Hey, Alan, this is Mike from nowhere. Right, Mike from nowhere. Thank you, Mike. Hey, Ben. Hey, how you doing, Al? What's going on, Ben? Not much. I used to go to, I went to a private Catholic school also. Then I ended up at a public school. So oh, good different. for you. Thank you. But I uh, corrected a teacher and got sent to the principal's office. And she had this placard on her desk that said, to assume is to make an ass out of you and me. Yep. Well, she said, well, you're going to be suspended for two days. And I said, you assume that's going to bother me. <laughs> True story. <laughs> True story. Yeah, I believe you. And what did she say? You, you, did you, you thought you really got she one said, over no, on now it. You got, now, you got, now you got five days. Yep. And I, again, I said, did you read your own sign, you know? I wasn't going to school anyhow. Yeah, they, right. They were teaching me nothing. <clears throat> That's what I mean. Like, if if you're not scared, see, I was worried about those things. 
If you're fearless about that kind of thing, there's nothing they can do to you. The Brothers of the Holy Cross taught me so much in seventh and eighth grade that literally I tested out of the school, so they threw me in a class with a bunch of illiterates um, because they didn't know what to do with me. Yeah. You know? They t- the the, 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 the Fathers too. of the Holy Cross taught Ben so much that he was sitting on an orthopedic pillow for two brothers. years. Eep. Help! The brothers. Right. The brothers, sisters, fathers. Thank you, Ben. Alan, the Breakfast Club is just Scooby-Doo. Emilio Estevez is Fred. Molly Ringwald is Daphne. Anthony Michael Hall is Thelma. Ali Sheedy is Scooby. And Judd Nelson is Shaggy. Shaggy! All right, well, listen, I've never seen uh, the movie, and uh, I've never seen Scooby-Doo either, so I don't know. um... I've never seen Scooby-Doo. No, I'm kidding. Of course I've seen Scooby-Doo. Love Scooby-Doo as a kid. You know, I had friends who weren't into it. They were more along the lines of Scooby Don't. Hey, and I hey, said, hey, 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 Bill Squire at the Funny Stop, everybody. March 31st, March 31st and April 1st. April 1st. Get yep. your tickets. They're starting to move, so don't wait because <clears> it's going uh, to, we're going to sell these out. So get your tickets now. It's calm my anxiety. Isn't that a nice thing to do? I think so. You want him to be, he can't perform properly if he's anxious. I want, to, right? I want to see a bunch of ticket sales in advance so they can go, oh, I got nothing to worry about except just telling the jokes. I don't have to promote that much. Crowds and audiences are not in tune to the requirements of a performer. That's not their job. Their job is to be the crowd. It's right. our job to be the performers, right? But they're not in tune to kind of the variables that go into that. Right. And security is knowing your lines. And if you get up there and you're anxious or you're nervous because you're getting a weird vibe off of the crowd that can really throw you off. And that's just going to be a bad experience for you, the paying customer. Well, this crap's free. I, I don't, you know, I don't charge you anything for this. <laughs> but if you're, you, you can't, you shouldn't make, uh, uh, don't bring uh, negative vibes to a show you're paying for to see someone perform. But yeah, and basically just get the tickets now so I don't have to, Keep talking about it. Alan, my work has a sim- similar policy as at school. If you're late enough, they give you the day off. Mm-hmm. A lot of people purposely show up late and then take the day off right before a vacation. I would think they would get wise to that, by the way. you know, Oh, Frank's uh, going to Maui. Turns out he showed up uh, 45 minutes before he was due to punch out. I got a break here. Uh, If you want to get the last word in, uh, send me a text, 35192 to do that. I think you got the Corey Roddick experience after 630. You're in good shape. Uh, No Cavs tonight. So uh, we'll take a break, come back, wrap up. 